Hey everyone, this is Zelda and you are watching Zelda Sews. I made an eye mask for Tony and myself and this is very simple to do and I'm going to show you how I did it. I used the pattern from fabricstore.com and I printed off the sleep mask. You cut two of these and then you cut one of bedding along with some linen or whatever. I'm using linen. I'm using up my linen and you cut two inch by 23 inches long so that you have the strap part to go around your head. I want to make sure it is 23. Yes, 23 inches by two inches. So what I'm going to do is just show you me cutting this out quickly and we'll sew it up. Okay, I'm just cutting out a two inch strip. It's longer than what I need. Oops. Okay. So this right here, I'm going to put it over here on my scale and measure out 11 and a half. And I'll cut that. And that will be 11, 11, 20 through 22 plus a half, 23. Okay. So that is done. The mask. I'm going to use this piece over here because I have an extra piece of linen over here that that way I don't have to waste anything. Okay. I normally iron on my mat over there and just getting a few wrinkles out here. Okay. So it says cut two and I will cut two. Okay, now I'll cut the batting. Okay, so we have two of the fashion fabric, one from the batting, a two inch wide by 23 inch long piece of um, fabric for the strap. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold this in half. Normally it is the right sides together. I don't really see a right or wrong, so I'm just gonna fold this, I'm going to press it, and then I'm gonna take it over to the sewing machine and sew it down. All right, the next step, is to take your strip and pin. It says, pin the long raw edges together. I didn't pin, I just pressed it. I don't need to pin on this one because it's, it stays close. And then you stitch along the edge and then you trim the 
seam allowance to a quarter of an inch. So I shall do that. So I'm moving my, I'll put my guide down so that I have something for it to bump up against and, and I don't s swerve as I go. <laughs> All right, right now my screen is, my position is three and a half, which is in the middle. I'm gonna move it over to five. Put my needle down, let me see. Maybe five and a half. Yeah, that's good. That is done. Now it's time to turn this. You can use a safety pin or you can use your bodkin. I'm going to try to use this again because I struggle with it. Yes, I do. But we shall see. Let's let's see if I can get this one this time. Get it started. Make it look so easy. I'm going to pause this because it's driving me crazy and I don't want to say anything while I'm messing with this thing. I restarted it and now it's going slowly. Don't let go of it like I just did, because you might get it unhooked like that. Let's see if I can grab it back. I just need to get it right to here. Come on, baby. I made it. Yay. Okay. Okay, now that this is done, okay, I'm going to press this with the seam going down the middle, and then I shall put some elastic in it. So, be right back. Okay, this is pressed. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a safety pin and I'm going to take the elastic and I'm going to run it through here. Okay, this elastic has been running away from me for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pin one end of this. Actually, I'm going to go the other way. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take this and run it right through here, making sure that the other end doesn't come out. I have a, a pin to do that. I can actually, I'm going to just use a pin here once I'm through. Okay, let's get this started. Okay. Getting a little close. Okay. And I did what I said I didn't shouldn't do. <laughs> uh, and it's too far down, so I'm just going to restart. Okay, start it again. So I'm going to pull right here, take this off. And what I want to do is let the let this come to the end here. Careful not to lose it and pin it. Try to make sure if if it's centered, it does help. Okay, there we go. And if you can come back a little bit more, you can leave that in when you stitch. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stitch this elastic to this piece of uh, the sheet here. Okay. Go ahead and move my magnet for a moment. And once my presser foot is down, you can remove the pen, but I tend to sew over pens, so that's just my thing. Go ahead and go forward. And then I'm going to go back. Go forward again. And cut. Okay. So now I have that down. Clean this up just a wee bit. Okay. All right. Now you want to make sure your elastic is in the same direction. So you have to feel in there to make sure it didn't twist on you. Okay. I'm going to move this up. This is good right here. Okay, there we go. You can feel it in there. And you can pull this up a little bit. And just make sure, feel to make sure it did not twist. Okay, hold on. Don't let go of this until you pin it. Feel through here. Okay. It did not twist. Okay. Now I'm going to stitch this side down. 
do the same thing. Move my pen back a little bit. Actually, I want to just remove it. It's okay. Sure, it caught that elastic. We did trim this. Okay, now we're moving on to the next step. So we'll put this aside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that step here. Pen out, take my template off. I'm going to take one piece, and this would be my right side. Actually, let's do it like this the right sides will cut together. So, right side. Take your elastic strap and you want to pin it. And the one fourth inch seam allowance. Make sure the seam on your strap is facing up so that when you put it on, it will be facing the other way. Now at this point right here, wait a minute, let me turn this. Ouch, I'm gonna take it and just kind of put it on to see what it look, feels like. I always forget to take off my glasses. Okay, I think it's snug enough because I always wear a bonnet. My hair is long and thick sometimes, and that will work. Okay, now I can check my seam allowance with this, but I'm just going to put this here, bump that up. It never seems to be quarter of an inch. Oh wow, I hit it on the money. Yes! Okay. So I'm go ahead and stitch this down. That's done. I'm going to take this and leave it right here for the moment. And we are to layer the pieces in order. So let me stick that right here. First, the batting. Then the mask piece right side up, so it would be in here, Start the way in here, and then the last piece 
right side down and pin. So this is now pinned. I'm pinned all the way around and I put two pins here to know where to stop this or to start or stop whichever I'm going to go this way. So I'll start this way, go pin stitch around and then stop right here, back stitching here, back stitching here. Okay, this is at a half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to check this. I know this is at a quarter right now. Okay, and the last pin is here. Back stitch. Okay. So go ahead and remove the rest of your pins if you still have some in. And what we'll do here next is clip around the edges. 
So we're gonna take the scissors and clip right around on this edge. And now, I just believe you. Try it. And turn it over. Your strap will help you. And if you have a point turner, you can use that so that you can get all of the, the curves in. I just use my finger on this one. Okay. And here, minus this right here your eye mask so go ahead and press this and then sti slip stitch this close okay I have my thread I press this looks good felt good I'm going to take my needle and kind of go back a, a little bit so that my thread will come out on the inside there kind of hidden okay and then i'm going to do just a i think it's called the ladder stitch and take a little bit i'm going to actually stitch this again i take a little bit of thread and just to make sure it's hooked and i have a knot i have a knot i don't know how i got that knot let me see okay it's gone all right i take a little bit from the other side, I go straight across and then come up. And then I go to the other side and go across. Same thing. Make sure these are down together. Otherwise, it comes out wrong. Push this down with my needle. Okay, now I'm just tying this off. And then what I'm going to do is bury the needle in the mask and come out. Make sure it doesn't go through on the back or the front. And just bring it out. Oops, one. And then when you cut it, pull it up a little bit and it pulls back in the mask. And there you have it. Yay! Here it is. All done. Nice strap. I'll go ahead and put this on. I usually wear a bonnet to bed, so I know that I'm going to have something on my hair. So this will not affect I mean the size but I already have one made and this right here is great can't see anything out it feels comfortable you don't want your strap too tight because otherwise um, it may give you a headache 
Now with Tony's, I made his and it was, the strap was just a little bit too big. So what I ended up doing, I'll show you on mine. Uh, right on the other side, I opened up the seam here and I took the elastic and took out an inch and a half and then zigzag stitched it back together and then stitched this close and it fits perfectly. So I'm happy about that. This was a wonderful project. I am very excited that I did it. Now I have an extra mask. I'm going to send this one probably to my sister and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you all. I have reached 650 subscribers and I'm so blessed. I, I, I feel so honored. It's, it's great. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for, uh, if you share my videos, share it. Thank you. I just thank you. I thank you. And you're not getting away without a scripture. <laughs> okay. I am going to read Philippians 3, 14. I press to toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Press toward that mark. Keep pressing, keep pressing. You can do it. God bless you. I will see you in the comments and you will see me on my next upload. Bye for now.